Hello Twin Flames and welcome to day six of the Divine Feminine Power series. So in this series we're tapping in with the energy of heaven to bring messages in so that you learn about your journey and you understand what you are going through and why you are feeling what you're feeling. So we're going to use four decks of cards for this series, the Divine Feminine the Silence and the Divine Feminine Power Messages. We're going to bring in Divine Feminine Illumination and the Goddess card. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So what do we need to know on day six then? What energy is the feminine in for this day? So this will be about what you may be experiencing right now or what you may have felt in the past or, you know, you're gaining clarity about your journey. So what do we need to know? Just two cards coming out in the goddess cards then. What illumination are we receiving right now? Regarding this message, what do we need to know? Thank you, angels. And what power messages are coming through? Wow, very powerful today. You know, I feel the power, I feel the energy uplifting too. So this is a big sign of your strength, you know, that you are understanding. So look at this. I am connecting to your body. I am connecting to your body. Now, this is really important to know because sometimes we experience really powerful physical symptoms and it's not our body at all. It's our masculine's body because we mirror their energy. We mirror their emotions. We mirror their feelings. We mirror their thoughts sometimes. And we mirror physical sensations. And this is also a period of ascension. So if you've got something going on in your body and you're not sure why, and you know it's nothing connected with you and it's driving you a bit mad or crazy, you are connecting with their body. That means you may be having a certain ache or pain, you may be having a headache, you may be having pain in the throat or, you know, a cough or a blocked throat chakra. You may be having backache or neck ache or shoulder pain. You may be having leg pain or strain. You know, you may be having some form of stomach issue and you're like, what's going on? You know, sometimes it's scary because you know, even though we're spiritual beings, we are having a human experience and our human like ego, you know, it gets scared, it gets afraid. So we could be experiencing something physically and it's scary to us. You know, maybe you're getting a pain in your heart and you're like, what's this? Am I okay? You know, what's going on? And the angels are kind of reassuring you today here that, you know, you are experiencing what they are experiencing. You feel what they feel. And that's why, you know, you know what you know. It's like, you know, when they're horny for you, you know, when they're angry, you know, when they're desiring you and wanting to reach out, you feel it, you feel it. And did you see that orb then? Wow, just saw an orb go past that. Angels around you, you know, you feel everything. So the angels are showing you that in your physical body. And you know that because you are one soul in two separate bodies. So you feel it. So you'll feel the anxiety sometimes. You know, you'll feel the, the surprise or this feeling of something. You know, wow, what's that feeling? Something's coming. You may have butterflies in your tummy because you know that they are preparing to reach out to you. Or you may feel dread because you know they're going through something painful in their physical world. Maybe they're arguing with their karmic partner or, you know, they're feeling the pain, the loss. You're feeling that hole in the soul. So this is a big message today about your ascension. And I have done a video on Ascension Symptoms too. You know, you can go and watch that and connect with that. And there is also a really good book, okay? It's called How to Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. And there is actually a little version of it that I've got here, Heal Your Body by Louise Hay. And the thing I love about this book is, at the back of the book, it's got an appendix in it. And it lists every single physical thing we go through. Okay, even to grey hair is in here. You know, anything, you, any gum problems, cystitis, bone marrow, bulimia, um, you know, injuries, anything you go through physically, it's in this book. And there is always a spiritual reason, okay? Because even if something seems to happen to you, you know, like you cut your leg or something happens, there's a spiritual reason. Because any form of physical pain or struggle or any symptoms are always the beginning the mind from a feeling of not being at ease you know that's where dis-ease comes from you're not feeling at ease when you're feeling at ease and you're feeling at peace your body runs right 
you know so if you're experiencing something whether it's your experience of it or it's your twins experience that you are feeling this boot will be able to give you an insight so i really can recommend this okay and i'm sure you could google this and get the answers anyway but it gives you the spiritual reason behind what you're going through and then it gives an affirmation to heal it so you can understand why you're feeling it and you know what it's telling you so let's do one for example so if you're going through any gum problems and this is a big one on the journey this is a big one we feel you know if you're having tooth problems gum ache you know bleeding gums or tooth pain it's connected with decisions so you may be going through that and you know full well it's not you that needs to make a decision but your twin does and you're thinking, well, he needs to make a decision, he needs to leave his karmic partner, or he needs to step up, he needs to choose me, he needs to change his life. So you know he needs to make a decision, and then all of a sudden you're getting tooth pain, you're connecting with him making that decision. So we've got gum problems, it says inability to back up decisions, wishy-washy about life. And that's what the masculines do sometimes, the back and forth in their energy. You know, it's wishy-washy to the universe because they're not making a decision. Or they're contemplating it. You know, they're thinking more about it than they are taking the action. And the affirmation is, I am a decisive person. I follow through and support myself with love. So that's what they need to be thinking and knowing. So you can send them love. You can send them support through the physical and the spiritual world. You know, in the 5D realm. And know that they will follow through on their decisions. Because when they put the mind to it, they are a decisive person. So that just gives you an insight into what you go through physically. And, you know, that's great to have in the home because if you go into any fear, you know, I'm a bit of a hypochondriac with my health. And the first thing I do if I, you know, I start experiencing something is call an Archangel Raphael. And he'll give me guidance. He'll say, Liz, calm down. Okay, sit down, ground yourself. Because usually if we go through some fear physically of what's happening to our physical body, we're too much in the head. And that's kind of air energy. So we need to ground ourselves, which is earth energy, and come back down to earth and know it's going to be okay. And, you know, Raphael will kind of say, use your pendulum, Liz, or get your book out, you're okay. You know, and it calms me down. So this is understanding that on this journey, you will experience your bodily sensations when you were not at ease on this journey, but you will also experience what your twin is going through too. We've got to stop hurting me. And they just block throat chakra. So, you know, maybe it's the being ignored or not being communicated with that's hurting you. And you're saying, stop hurting me. All you really want is an answer. You just want to know how they feel. You know, if they, the masculine's, kind of said to the feminine, I need a bit of space, I'll call you tomorrow, you would be fine with that, is the fact that they don't do that, they don't communicate, instead they leave you on read, they don't respond, they ignore you, and we take it personal, and we say, stop hurting me, tell me what you want, and again, that's how you can feel it physically, and obviously anything connected with communication affects the throat chakra, because it's connected with speech and speaking the truth, and vibration from the vocal cords so you're saying stop hurting me maybe you're saying to them stop hurting me physically because you're feeling what they are feeling it's hurting you and you're feeling you know why don't you just sort yourself out and make a decision and then my teeth will be okay you know or i won't have that shoulder pain because shoulder pain is connected with burdens and carrying around the weight of the world on your shoulders backache about finances stability you know fear in the future so you're also saying here to your masculine stop hurting me just come to terms with things and make a decision and this is also reminding you to send love they're giving me fear so anytime we go into fear or pain as a divine feminine send love love is the answer to all of the questions and we've got feel the power of love so whenever you go through physical pain or, you know, you're in pain over something they are doing or not doing, like ignoring you or not responding to you or not being truthful or open with you. Feel the power of love. So the angel saying, stop for a minute. Go back into your heart space and center yourself. Calm your energy, relax, breathe and feel the power of love. And then you won't feel any longer like they are hurting you because you realize what 
is pain is is giving you answers you know if something's hurting you physically or emotionally it's an opportunity to ask yourself why what is this teaching me what is this showing to me so you become the observer of your life so pain is an opportunity to grow what is your problem so this is the same thing stop hurting me what's your problem you know what's going on so this is you saying just tell me what your problem is what's your problem with being in contact with me what's your problem with telling me what your problem is and that's the feminine way okay feminines you are kind of these beings of light and you want answers you want to clear the air you want to sort things out so it's in you to understand whereas the masculines do it differently okay they go within to process they block out the world and they run away okay it's a lot like i always give this scenario of a child running away you know whenever they have a disagreement or something they don't like happening in their lives and you know they run away from their mom or dad and they go and lock themselves in the bedroom they slam the door and the masculine behaves the same way you know even if they're not kind of in anger or fear they still need to lock themselves away you know my divine masculine sometimes now goes in his shed you know, or they sit on the toilet, or they go for a walk, or they go, um, you know, they, they go to do the garden, or they go fishing, or, you know, they go to work, or whatever they do, that's their way of handling what they're going through, and you're saying, what's your problem, just tell me what's wrong, just tell me if you need a bit of space, or you need a little bit of time, or just tell me what you want, but the masculines don't, and that's the problem, so this is why the angels are saying to you, feel the power of love because we learn on this journey to understand telepathically what they need you know in union now me and george kind of automatically know what each other needs so i know if he needs a bit of space and he knows if i need a bit of space and we know what each other needs because we are always communicating telepathically regardless of us being in the same house so you and your twin have telepathic communication so this is about relaxing and releasing the need for the physical contact and now starting to understand that there is a spiritual bond and that's where the power comes in because when you master that you master this connection realizing wow they don't need to be right by my side physically to be by my side because he's already here with me you know i don't need to have him tell me what he needs because i already know what he needs intuitively this is about him speaking to you telepathically. So your intuition will always guide you. So instead of getting angry and frustrated and triggered saying, what's your problem? Stop hurting me. Go within and feel the power of love. You complete me. So when you allow yourself to feel the power of love, you understand that they complete you and you complete them. So you feel whole when you're together, but you don't need to be together to feel complete. And they're giving me tooth pain and jaw pain here. And again, obviously, this is connected with that energy that I'm picking up on about decisions. So I feel a lot of you have just connected with that. And, you know, you're thinking about that and I'm picking up on that energy collectively. So, you know, you're saying to your masculine, you complete me, you're everything I want. So this is how it changes. And this is why we go through highs and we go through lows, because one moment we can be in pain and the next moment we can be happy. Because the journey shifts and changes so frequently through our own energy field and our own vibration. So the more you are raising your vibration, the better you feel, the better things become. So you're saying here, you complete me because you're allowing yourself to feel the power of love. And that replaces all the pain and the struggle and the questioning and the fear with faith and love and hope. Surrender the struggle. And that's when we surrender the struggle. You know, because the struggle energy here, what's your problem? Stop hurting me. You know, you're feeling things physically. But when you surrender that struggle and you stop wanting to know or needing it now or needing it to be physical, oh, you surrender spiritually and you give it to heaven and everything starts to fall into place. And then you realize that the universe has your back. And you realize that all is well and that you were safe and there's nothing to worry about because the universe is on it. So really, when we surrender the struggle, we give it to the universe. We hand it over to heaven. If you've got time to worry, you've got time to pray. And what is prayer? It's asking for assistance. It's asking for support. It's asking for help. It's giving it to heaven. 
you are special and unique. So you also realize on this journey that you are special, that you are unique, and that there has to be a bigger picture. So see how you move from one energy to the other when you allow yourself to feel the power of love. You know, you may be in the energy of struggle, frustration, anger, fear, and, you know, feeling things physically just kind of enhances that too. You know, it doesn't really help us when we're having back pain and we know it's connected with our twin or our teeth are bleeding or hurting. And we know it's not us. We know that we are looking after ourselves. Well, this is you realizing that when you surrender that struggle and you feel the power of love and you give it to heaven, you remember there's a bigger picture and you raise your vibration and you see it from a higher point of view. So you say, yes, the pieces of the puzzle are falling into place. I realize now why separation had to happen or why it didn't happen when, when I thought it would. Because when we always look back on our lives, it always makes sense. We may not realize it in the moment we're living in it, but it will always make sense when we go back and review it. And things are always happening for us, not to us. So remember your power. Honor your divinity, you are sacred. So the way that we move forward and we stop stressing over the little things and we stop putting demands on things and we start focusing on the love is remembering your power. And that's how you honour your divinity, by honouring yourself, by looking at how far you've come, by being proud of yourself and, you know, relaxing about it all and knowing that you are a sacred being because you are special and unique. There's nobody like you. And there is always a bigger picture. And your divine masculine would be lucky to be with you. You know, you may feel all these things about your twin, but see it on the flip side. Think how lucky they are to have you in their life. To have someone as loving and kind and beautiful and powerful and sensual as you. So we learn that this journey is one of teaching. We're all in the school of life and we're all growing and understanding. So you are teaching them lessons and they are teaching you lessons. Your divine masculine is your greatest teacher. And when you realise that, it gives you power. I am teaching others and sharing my knowledge. And you've been reminded that everything you go through on this journey as a divine feminine, it teaches you lessons and it teaches you wisdom and it gives you knowledge about your future. So that one day you can go back and give guidance to someone else who needs it. You know, if you don't go through it yourself, how can you give guidance? How can you empathize? How can you understand and have compassion? Everything we go through is from our own experiences. That's how we learn. As I learn and grow as a divine feminine, I am applying all the time learning into helping and teaching others. So you are a light worker. You are here to work your light, to guide, to heal. And you know, it's so powerful how so many divine feminines end up helping other divine feminines. You know, whether you start a channel or you have a blog or you have a website or you are a healer, in whatever element you heal and grow, you teach others, you guide, you show the way. So you learn and grow as a divine feminine and you apply all that you learn into helping and teaching others. And it's also how you help and teach your twin because you are the example of light and love. And they want to be like you. You know, you inspire them to be authentic, to change their life, to live in the light. And that's your power. I am in my power. And that's what this series is. It's helping you to step into your power, to realize your truth, to harness your goddess energy. By remembering the power that you have within you as a divine feminine, you realize that you can do anything, you can be whatever and become whoever you wish to be. So you can be anything, do anything and have anything. You are capable. You are capable of great things. There is always a bigger picture and there is always a plan. And it's not just about you having a relationship with your twin and living happily ever after. It's about your mission to help the world. That's why you've come to raise the vibration of humanity, to help people move into better times, to help people get through what they're currently going through in the pandemic, with their journey, with their own struggles and, you know, realising their truth. So have compassion, have compassion for your twin flame and what they're going through and the time it's taking. Have compassion for your own self and what you're going through because you are growing and learning too. 
and have compassion for others because everyone is doing the best they can with the experiences they are having and the information they have because we're all in the school of life. You know, this is just one big Hogwarts where we learn to expand our minds and we learn to release ourselves from the matrix and we wake up to our physical truth that we are a creator and our spiritual truth is that we are psychic and strong and forever connected with source so be filled with compassion the more you understand that everyone including me or including you is doing the best they can from their own perception of the world and that your divine masculine goes through his own pain and struggle too on this journey the more compassion you become so you don't just have compassion, you become compassion and you understand that everyone is learning and everyone is growing and everyone is doing the best they can with their own perception of this, this reality. Perception is everything. Are you seeing your journey as good right now or bad right now? Negative or positive, happy or sad? You choose and love your body because this incredible complete vessel is you. And this is so powerful with that body message coming up because, you know, you're connecting to your own body and their body and everybody. You're connected because you are a being of love. So this is also reminding you to shield yourself because you will also take on other people's feelings, emotions and pain too. Especially as a light worker, as an empath, as a healer, you'll take their pain on too. So you may also be experiencing someone else's pain. Whenever we have a conversation with someone, there is an etheric cord between you and them. Okay, so when you have a conversation, there's a cord there. And if you give someone guidance and advice, they're giving me fear and you're helping them to release fear, you will be taking into you from that cord their fear and their feelings and their emotions. So if you don't shield yourself right or, you know, kind of cut that etheric cord of to release everything out into you know, the world and into heaven for transmutation, which is what we do. You know, we don't kind of put it out into the world. We give it to heaven. So that negative energy or any pain can be transmuted into love. Then if we don't do that, then we carry it around. So it's more baggage we're carrying around. It's like, you know, we've got a coat on and the coats get heavier and heavier and heavier. And we have to, oh, we have to take it off and replace it with a brand new shiny one. So however you decide to do that, whether you ask Archangel Michael to shield you, you ask Archangel Michael to cut any cords of fear or pain around, you know, you or the situation, you are healing yourself and you are a sacred being of love and you are powerful and your body is always communicating to you through your divinity and your light. So the angels are reminding you that you are whole and that you are incredible. Your body is incredible. Your mind is incredible. And you are incredible. You are powerful. You know, your body is constantly upgrading itself and updating itself and, you know, finding its, its truth. So love your body. Look in the mirror and honor it. Honor your sacred divinity. Realize that nobody compares to you and that you are incredible and you are a complete complex vessel. And that's you. You are powerful and strong. There's nobody like you. And that's your honour. So honour yourself today. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of how far you've come. When you feel things physically, be proud that your body is communicating that to you. And that you are strong enough, intelligent and wise enough to know your truth. And to understand if it's your feelings you're feeling or if it's your masculine's feelings you're feeling. And then you don't get triggered anymore. You don't get triggered, you don't take it personally because you realise whatever is hurting you is teaching you something. It's growing you because your masculine is your greatest teacher and you learn through compassion that your universe has your back. And I say your universe because for the universe there's only you. For the universe sees you, the universe knows you and the universe has you. You know, sometimes when I'm commenting on comments, I put you've got this. Or we've got this. And I put one of them. Because you have. You know, you've got this because the universe has got you. Archangel Michael is with you, picking you up, giving you power. You are never alone. So have compassion for the time this journey is taking. Have compassion when you go into pain energy and you feel frustrated. You know, and you think, oh, 
Stop hurting me. What's your problem? Have compassion because you realise through that that there is always a bigger picture and you are safe. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.